work with tiny pixels missing unless yep. the uh, it looks like we're missing. good to go. Indeed. Starting off, Dream Sync working is always nice. So the beginning of the map is just ag, basically. Yeah, it's pretty much, you know, just standard ag. It's just about trying to build that up. And then you start kind of building up into, I believe, a few doubles and it just slowly builds up until you get that first main burst. And there we go. Now the faster part of the map is stopped. And both players' accuracy dropping. No one is, no one is able to hold the 98 anymore, which is unsurprising, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you get to this speed, it's very hard to maintain it. Um, and so far, it's impossible. I don't think there's a single player in the world who could hold a 98 on this. But Sean dropping to that 96.5%. And uh, we have actually, we are seeing a miss by Brindel here. I didn't really see it because I was focusing on short holding that 96% yeah. with the miss though that's still Same. pretty good but here see. comes the first main burst section and it so, just goes on massive sliders and it's really easy to mess up any of them but both players holding on really well yeah but accuracy obviously dropping down showed now down to a 95.7% it's very easy just to under swing some of these uh, sliders on the burst right yeah, so, definitely. Especially I feel like if Brindle did. I, I feel like Brindle did way better there because the percentages are actually quite close now. The difference is only zero point one percent. Yeah, um, it does kind of show Brindle. Oh, as as soon as I said that, Choke did get a miss there. But it does look like Brindle does have a general better speed act uh, compared to Choke, which could really benefit him. This might also be because Chote is just jamming so much. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Maybe forgetting he's in a tournament scenario right now, but yeah. that dead jam, <laughs> drop him as another miss there. Yeah, I mean, One of the easier sections. Can't really afford a miss at that part. Yeah, so these one-handed jumps, no problem for both players. Both players very cleanly playing those. Yeah, both players still holding on really well. This is kind of the second main section. Yeah, kind of Brindale. calms down a bit in this wee break, and then it just goes full throttle again. Yeah, with some breaks though, so you can't just swing without looking. <laughs> Doesn't work on this map. But Brindle yeah. actually trying to get back to that 96%, looking pretty decent so far. Has risen an egg all map because that miss was relatively early. Yeah. That's kind of the difficulty with having an early miss. It can really mess you over uh, for the rest of the map because it's both mentally in your brain, but also it can be quite physically just annoying and everything. But overall, that is pretty much the end of the map. There is one wee final section. Yeah, but that's not going to make a difference, honestly, because the, the score difference of 0.5%, you're not just going to... Just not just gonna miss 20 notes in a row. Yeah. But a choke did jam a wee bit too much there. <laughs> yeah, um, jam, jam, jam dance in there. <laughs> jammed right himself there. Into, into the misses. And Brindle taking this one with a point difference of 8,600 points, which is more or less two misses and a bit. So. Pack stream sync again. Hopefully not. <laughs> I gotta say, what I love is if you look on Chote's side on the stream, the hand of the avatar is just dancing into the screen occasionally. <laughs> and just being like, hello, here's my hand. <laughs> I didn't know uh, that. I just noticed and find out, found it a little funny. So uh, the map is starting. Beginning is, again, very much ackable. You know? Yeah, just trying to build up those ack points. And because ultimately, this is the sections that actually really matter the most sometimes because it's the dick these sections can be the difference between winning and losing if your accuracy on the fast section is identical which happens extremely often you know is actually kind of surprising how often the accuracy is close then the small uh, the the slower sections actually do make a huge difference we've seen it with Ceska, who was just able oh, to here comes the build up okay and both players remaining game. there Cho just able to hold that high accuracy, still holding over 
Yeah, so it does seem to be kind of quite consistent. But as we know with Kobayaro songs, anything can happen. Sometimes it will just randomly scream at you. Um, so, but it does look quite consistent. It's pretty much trying to get a good mid-speed accuracy right here. Yeah, you want to act as much as you can right here. Because yeah. this part, it's still, it's still slow. Uh, we can see both players dropping in accuracy, accuracy being very equal right now. Around the halfway point, the map actually picks up and starts becoming fast. Because this is just, you know, you have you have some of these uh, angled blocks that can kind of trip you up a little bit. You know, it can look a little bit scary if you're taking a diagonal node as an upswing. Yeah, definitely. Like, obviously, you know, it is possible, but you have to pretty much nail the angle, and sometimes it can be quite risky. And actually, speaking yeah. of that, Choke does unfortunately right, yeah. miss there on one of those awkward angles. Um, and actually does it again. Because, actually, this section's pretty technical for the most part. Some really hard to hit angles there. Especially, uh, like, I'm, I'm not... 100% sure on that, but I feel like that Chod is actually not really trying to abuse the hitboxes too much. Like, the hands were just going all over the place. Which is a problem on sections like these, because you want to abuse the hitbox as much as possible so that you don't have to do that, because else you'll have, you'll have many inconsistencies on your swings. Yeah, definitely. Like, so... that's kind of like the strategy of Beat Saber, you know, you can get away with a lot more than what you can actually see. And yeah. sometimes it's just about utilizing that to your advantage. <laughs> Cho dancing again. <laughs> I, I don't think Cho is taking this seriously. He's just here jamming. I mean, that's <laughs> fair. Just, you know, jamming is uh, yeah. part of Beat Saber. Another build up. Again, both players. And here it goes. This is the true speed section now. Yeah, this one is pretty much the fastest section in the song. Not not pretty much, because there is still the ending. Ending being pretty similar, just, you know, e even more Cobario. Yeah. Uh, with being a miss right there from Brindil, too. Dropping ah. to at 96.3%, but still ahead of Chode. I'm actually not sure if there was, like, uh, multiple misses. I don't think work. it was. I, I don't also think it dropped that much. Alright, that part is also over. So the last section of the map, the decider, is upon us. Let's see if players will be able to FC everything from now on. Yeah, this is where everything comes down to. This is the make and break point. And here we go. Back into it for the insane final build-up. It just gets even further. Lots of large sliders, lots of intense bursts. It's just about being consistent, being able to hit all of them. Going into the real final section, there's a miss from Cho. That and is it's... so unfortunate. Right at the end, there's not much map, uh, map left, so... Yeah, and that is, at least on the end of Cho's side, Unfortunately, missing right at the very end, but still dancing the way out, exactly how you're meant to finish off a map. <laughs> Brindil nailing the end and showed nailing the dancers. Yeah. What more can you ask for? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, we have a replay. Oh, we're doing another. So, Cho, maybe taking this maybe possibly a bit more seriously? Yeah, I do think if Choke can get an FC on this, I do think he's actually got a good chance of taking this, provided Brindle does miss again. But it is going to be very tough, as we saw in this map. It just slowly builds up. It goes from a technical section to a really fast section, and then just pure burr. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a Cobario song. Cobario songs are very similar in nature, where they are starting off, uh, relatively tame and then the middle part is kind of fast and the ending just goes ham yeah very much indeed um, so we are going to be building up to the first main technical section So the beginning, as we've seen before, not too crazy first stream, also not too crazy and then the 
bit more technical stream starts. And that technical stream is going to be key for Chode's run here. Because there were two misses right there. They, yeah. You can't miss on that part this time around. Brindle was able to not miss on the beginning this time around, which is pretty good for their score. Yeah, pretty much. So it's really... It starts off kind of basic, just some regular streams. And then it just slowly adds some more technical angles, just some harder hit notes. And then it just gets worse and worse until the end, really. Yeah, and that also, you know, kind of is mirrored on the accuracy of the players. Players starting off with 97% and on this part just dropping down. Chote again started with the 97.2 and now is down to the 96.8. Yeah. Window also 96.7. Very, very similar accuracy here, but this is still not the part where Chote missed. Chote is very, very consistent on that part. The next part where the angles are actually flipped around a little bit more is the difficult part. Yeah. And that is exactly this one. It's all about just having good positioning, good angling of the saver. And that's really going to be what's going to make or break it here. Yeah. Um, but currently Chote is doing pretty well with it. Although he is struggling, so he, yeah, there he is. Yeah, there's one miss. The, you can't just see it, you know, the hands of Chotas are just going all over the place. And meanwhile, Brindil is just, like, like a lot of the nodes are just uh, being swung very, very similarly. Yeah. Because you can take a lot of side nodes just diagonally. And you can swing up nodes diagonally. So you can swing at most nodes, like, diagonally. If you're able to master that, it can help you a lot on sections like this. But... Big difference, only one miss by Chote this time, so... You know, there still is hope. Yeah, there is certainly indeed. And we are going to be going into build-up for the next part, which is kind of that more fast-paced section, just before the main final pure insanity section. But here we go bear doubles and then it just slowly builds up and then it goes full burr and this is going to be so crucial i can imagine the amount of pressure both players are under right now knowing that they can't afford a single miss but overall both players are holding extremely well both swings, both players swinging very consistently, very straight, not Ooh, having many issues. There was a miss by Brindil. Yeah. That I did not see because of the, the like the sheer amount Brindil. of notes there, it was pretty much impossible to see there. Yeah. That's that, true, but my, my, my stream is also insanely delayed. I saw the miss on the main stream before I saw it on mine. Oh so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well accuracy wise, show the head now by 0.1% and that is also above the old score of Brindale. So if Cho just FCs the ending, that replay will be worth it. So jamming not allowed, Cho needs to perform now. Yeah, but he is performing extremely well with that main section of just crossovers, tons of sliders, but he is holding it really well. I'm not sure about the accuracy department. I'm not entirely sure. And I don't think it's enough. I'm not sure. He's shaking his head. I, I'm not entirely sure. I would I would think it's enough. I'm not 100% sure either. Yeah. How, how, how many? <laughs> it's the point difference is... I, I Right, I'm reading this correct. If I'm reading this correctly, it is around 220. Oh, God. That's... That's the point nothing. difference. That is literally two notes. It's around two to three notes. All right. Getting the shades of green before starting, and there we go. Map is starting off with a relative easy part, except for a few towers that are just there that you need to hit. Kind of easy to miss them if you're not seeing them coming. But I honestly don't believe that we are going to see too many. Oh my god, right as I say that, Brindle missing on the tower. Unfortunate. Right at the beginning again, Brindil is cursed in that regard. So 
So lots of dots, typical for Serret. Easy to hit, kind of difficult to hit in a way that you want to. Chode Kroon holding that 96.6%. Brindle has dropped down to the 96, or rather is working his uh, way back up considering the miss that was there really early. All right, a small section of calmness. And soon we are going to see some pretty fast bursts. Chode gaining a little bit on Ag too. So both players actually kind of working their way up. I'm assuming that these bursts are going to diminish the accuracy a little bit. Yeah, both players dropping down a little bit. Brindle actually kind of holding that 96.2%. Meanwhile, it showed down to that 96.36%. So I think should Chode miss that Brindle's accuracy is just better right now. Score difference yeah. is not that big. Yeah, it can really go any way right now. Um, but obviously, we do have that final main burst section, and that's going to really uh, decide who's taking this. Yeah, definitely. We've seen that Brindle was kind of more uh, consistent on those bursts. Accuracy actually very, very similar, even though Brindle has that miss. So that burst could just decide things even without misses. Yeah, definitely. And there we go. Last section. This part is fast, but that's not the burst we were talking about. But Brindle actually missing again. That uh, is a problem. Uh, Another is... bad cut right there. Oh, that's very unfortunate. And that's Chote. really just going to really bring him right down. by us. Chote is popping Chote. off. Just, just nailing that. Absolutely crushing it. Brindle missing again! Just this is not able, like something in this map is just not working out. And there we go, Cho's just FCing the entire thing, holding that 96.12%. Amazing Insane. performance. Insane. What a performance. Absolutely unbelievable. Good job from. <laughs> Alrighty, Brindil actually going for the replay. And here we go for the replay of this map. Um, stream sync. Well, at least on my end, wasn't perfect, but oh well. It is working out. So, Brindil, first step, don't miss on the towers. Second yeah. step, don't bad cut on the doubles. It's much easier said than done. Indeed! <laughs> It's not easy. It's definitely not easy. Yeah, especially these extra, like three tall sliders. They are very hard to get right. And it's just so easy to accidentally mess up. But overall, both players are be holding quite consistent right now. Indeed, Looking that good. is true. Accuracy is going to drop again a lot. Showed holding that 96.4%, rising a little bit on these, and jamming again. But honestly, Showed already has that FC, so you know he can afford to game this time. <laughs> it is time to jam for Showed, and it is time to game for Brindale. Yeah, exactly. Currently is actually gaming a lot, almost at that 97%. Amazing accuracy for the speed, but it is, as we said, it's going to drop quite a bit. The song just gets faster and faster. You know, the, the burst after the, I don't know, the person says machine gun. Like, these ones, they drop your accuracy. They're not complicated, but they are quite fast. Dropping down to the 96.6% for Brindale. Showed at that 96.15%. That's pretty much where he ended last time. Yeah, so both players are holding really well both of them holding the fc that is more crucial for brindle than choke but obviously if choke can improve that does give him a better chance at staying in lead indeed yes i do think that brindle has probably like one miss 
buffering right uh, like like a buffer of one miss right now that accuracy is really really good because and like a 96.7 if, if brindle is able to uh, hold that till uh, till the end that's that's a top five score on a, on a ranked map that is right that so people have played this yeah like people grain these maps oh and that's a miss from Cho as we were talking about that so Cho does have that miss ultimately brindle has that it's really all down to brindle yeah and accuracy still very high 96.4 now dropped down a little bit and so much more consistent than last time he's, he's gonna get the fc here it is it is not yet done there's still more towers there's still more you know more complicated things going on but it is looking very good right now for brindale yeah brindle is going to be happy with his play and there is the fc for brindle Putting what that replay to play. you from Brindle. Really Brindle happy with that score. Crushing it. Drop down in accuracy a little bit, getting that uh, 96.38 matching. You no, know, it is has some complicated things, but it, all in all, it it seemed like a more balanced map than some of the other other ones that we had. There's some techie parts in it, but generally. The more difficult parts in these are actually the sliders and the windows, as even, you know, in the intro, as you can see that right here. Yeah, definitely. This does look like quite, uh, potentially quite an uh, intense map coming yeah. up. Indeed. Brinda currently again showing that the accuracy is just a little bit more consistent on his side. Oh, yeah. showed kind of panic swinging that outer lane, almost missed it. That was really, really close. I thought it was going to be a miss, actually. But still being able to get that one. Yeah. And right now, we're kind of entering one of the first main sections. And there is a lot of quite slider uh, streams. Yeah, this here. is like not super easy to hit. It's actually kind of difficult because sliders already require pretty good positioning and if your positioning is not perfectly in line with the blocks very good timing doing that in a stream is like pretty much impossible unless you are absolutely amazing yeah and what and are these well players that, doing very accuracy. well yeah and like i mean as well as that accuracy on these slider streams it can really make the difference between a good and amazing play really but Brindle just showing that he's able to hold that high accuracy even with sliders in streams. 96.5%. Absolutely amazing performance. Chode still at that FC. Also very, very imp uh, impressive. But dropped below that 96%. So the score difference is actually quite substantial. Which makes it a huge problem for Chode. Because as I said, this is Brindle's match point. Yes, I and... So, you know, when we are getting into stuff where maybe someone misses, I would say that these angled blocks are actually more on the line of uh, a difficulty for Chode. We have seen Chode missing on some angled streams before, and Brindil was actually able to, like, even act that part somewhat. But so far, actually, both players doing very, very well. Brindle dropping down in accuracy a little bit more on the last angle part, but obviously both players gaining some accuracy here. The difference stays pretty much at 0.4% for both of them. Getting into the latter uh, part of the map now. There's only one and a half minutes left, and things are looking mighty well uh, for Brindle so far. Still holding that high accuracy. Chode is gaining on accuracy a little bit. But I don't think it's going to be quite enough if Brindle just keeps up the performance so far. 
About one more minute to go here. Chilled still trying to get that 96%. And Brindle start trying to get back to the 96.5. Difference, 0.4%. Doesn't change so far. Consistency is just uh, there for both players, but... You know, Brindle so far just able to hold a higher accuracy. And we are getting into the end of the map. Let's see, will players be able to hold that FCN? No, actually not. Brindle missed, but we have that higher accuracy. That higher accuracy actually helping out with, you know, making up for that one miss. Still over that 96%, show dropped down a little bit in accuracy as well, but not because of a miss, just because of, you know, a difficult part in the map. And the match is pretty much concluded. The map is pretty much over. Only 10 seconds to go, and Brindil holding that 96.09 with a single miss. Very, very well done for Brindil. And